An incision is made over the medial aspect of the first metatarsophalangeal joint. The incision should be long enough to visualize the metadiaphyseal junction of the first metatarsal and the proximal phalanx. A vertical incision is made over the first MTP joint to release the contracted medial tissues. The capsule between the medial sesamoid and the metatarsal head may also need to be removed or released to mobilize the medial sesamoid. A second incision is made in the first web space. A guide wire is placed into the medial metatarsal in the metadiaphyseal junction at midline and is advanced laterally, exiting just proximal to the articular cartilage. A second guide wire is placed into the proximal phalanx, exiting just distal to the articular cartilage. The guide wires are then overdrilled with a 2.5 mm cannulated drill bit. A microsuture lasso with a nitinol suture passing wire is advanced into the first metatarsal drill tunnel. The fiber tape is passed lateral to medial through the drill tunnel. The step is repeated by passing the fiber tape through the drill tunnel in the proximal phalanx. The fiber tape is secured to the proximal phalanx using a 3 by 8 mm peak tenodesis screw. The toe is placed into the corrected position. The fiber tape is tensioned and the second screw is placed into the metatarsal head drill tunnel. Upon final fixation, the excess fiber tape suture can be excised. In situations which the bone in the proximal phalanx is deemed to be too soft, a cortical button may be used with a looped fiber tape. In this case, two strands of fiber tape are passed through the proximal phalanx and the metatarsal head. Also, the lateral capsule may be reefed using zero fiber wire suture to further enhance the repair.